Did you ever hear about the boy who ate and ate and ate? He ate early in the morning and he ate when it was late. But he didn't thank Allah for all the yummy food he had. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to What's in My Lunchbox with Shaz Eats. Many years ago, when I started my journey in nutrition and I was a school teacher, I used to YouTube videos called what, What's in My Lunchbox and I used to blog about what I would have in my lunchbox and I had quite a following then. So it's actually very lovely to be here with you all and sharing how to make healthy lunchboxes for your children. So in a lunchbox you need to make sure that you have a carb because carb um, gives your child energy you need to have protein because protein fills your child up and keeps them fuller for longer um, you need to have some sort of dairy because their bones are growing and so the calcium and the vitamin d from the dairy assists in that and you need healthy fruits and vegetables which provide the fiber and minerals vitamins and nutrients to make a balanced meal so today I am going to be making a stir fry with pineapples and veg. So the sweetness comes in from the, the pineapple and the sweetness from the butternut strips and the courgettes also assists in that as well. So get some oil, olive oil, heat it up and just simply add in your julienne slice butternut courgette green beans and your pineapple and add it into your frying pan now you can do this the night before or very easily for your kids first thing in the morning while they are having breakfast so you can put it into their lunch boxes you just basically want to do a quick toss i like stir fries that are quite crunchy so um and, and when the noodles are added in and the steam comes to grow, uh, come, comes through, it does start to soften up. I'm going to add in the soya sauce. Increase the heat a little bit there. And I'm going to add in my noodles. I've got egg noodles, the fine ones. and toss that all through. I really do believe that children do eat with their eyes and this does look gloriously bright and colorful and with the soya sauce and the sweetness of the pineapple all that flavor comes through. Touch of black pepper and some salt. Did you ever hear about the boy who ate and ate and ate? Children are usually fussy to have vegetables on their own and using noodles as a base with pineapple um, and tossing them up in soya sauce is an easy way for your children to eat fiber and get nutrients from the colors of the rainbow. So the yellow veg packed with vitamin C, the green veg packed with folate and fiber, pineapple again vitamin C and gives that natural sweetness. So in this week's lunchbox, in today's lunchbox, there's nuts, there's strawberries, I've got some satay chicken, so a chicken that's marinated in some turmeric and some honey and a little bit of peanut sauce and then char grill, some raisins and I've got the noodles here and I've got a little bit of yogurt that the children can actually dip into and enjoy as well. Balanced eating, nothing from a packet, everything's just naturally made, lovely to have malnutrition children don't do well at school so do make sure that you are packing a fulfilling and healthy lunchbox for your children it's not that hard enjoy what's in my lunchbox with shaz eats did you ever hear about the boy who ate and ate and ate he ate early in the morning and he ate when it was late but he didn't thank allah for all the yummy food he had
bread. And he ate so much it made him sick, which really made him sad. He ate dates in Damascus, which he thought were very nice. Hot samosas in Sumatra, seasoned with a special spice. He ate tacos in Tijuana with some sauce he got from Spain. And a bowl of fresh baklava that he bartered in Bahrain. He said gyros made in Cairo are a taste that can't be beat. And the lemonade in Yemen made a very special treat.